This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Bortovitz, and this video is actually more of a housekeeping one because I was kind of experimenting with this video series and trying to keep different features um, independent of one another so that if someone wanted to go kind of pick and choose through the series, they could. Unfortunately, that's no longer going to work based on where we're heading with the features that we're applying to our game. So what I need to do now is I need to kind of merge all the work we've done, both in the level data section of the series and the scene progress section of the series. And unfortunately, I didn't do any sort of version control, so we're going to have to do this manually. And fortunately, it's not that major of a thing, but it is something we're going to need to do so that we're all back on the same page and have all the same features to work with. I will also include a link to these files once I'm done merging them at the uh, in the description so that if you just want to pull those and know that you're on the same page you can do that as well. So in order to get this started what we need to do is we need to look in our scripts folder our game folder at our level manager. Now this is the project from the very last video we did which was about um, the better scene loading. So that whole section, we, we have all of those scripts here. We have our um, scene loader script, we have our play session manager script, uh, calling the right methods in that, but our level manager script is still using this baked in level data system where we have the player position, the goal position, and the obstacle positions coded directly into the level manager itself. And you'll recall in the those of you who've done the level data section, we made this into a scriptable object. And so that's what we really need to update here. And the easiest way for us to do that is to actually go into the, um, is to open up the level manager script rather from the that section and kind of pick and choose the code that we need from it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go open. I'm gonna jump to my desktop because I have the project open here. This was from that level data video. Go into assets, scripts, and it is this level manager script that we're want. We're actually going to want this level data script as well after, but we're not going to open this in MonoDevelop. We're actually going to import that directly into our game. So let's open up though the level manager script. Now it can be a little bit confusing because you're going to have two different um, level managers here, but the big difference that you can notice is that this one here has that level data in it. This one does not because we were actually um, in kind of passing in the level data from an outsider script when we were doing this. So we're going to um, use the same level data structure, but we're actually going to, um, for now at least, have the reference to the level data right here where we currently have the individual pieces of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our um, old level manager, or the data-driven level manager, we'll call it, and we're going to copy this whole setup level method. And we're going to select the um, setup level method here, and we're going to paste in the replacement. Now, it actually doesn't change all that much you'll see here. All that really happens is that we add in a parameter here and it starts referencing, instead of just referencing the player position, goal position, obstacle, it starts referencing them from that level data. Now obviously we don't have this script in our, um, in our project yet, so it doesn't know what it's talking about, but we now have the proper um, setup level method here so that we can use um, that information once we get it in there. And in fact, let's do that now so that we don't um, get these uh, this confusion here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in. We'll put this in the um, put this in our game folder for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say import new asset. We're going to go to desktop again. Go to that level data project assets scripts and I'm going to get specifically this level data class. We'll import that. You will, we can see it here in the inspector it previews it. It's got our scriptable object with that player position, goal position, obstacles. So now when we go back to MonoDevelop, we should see, if we give this a second to uh, 
catch up. Let me save it sometimes. Oh, there we go. Now it knows that level data is a class we can work with. Now, the other issue though is that this is actually, um, this is listening for an event that doesn't have this parameter in it. So we're gonna delete that from here, which is gonna then cause problems again, because you'll suddenly see that we're not, we don't have a reference to level data anymore. So for right now, and this isn't how we're ultimately going to um, run our game, but for now what we're just gonna do though, is we're going to delete our level data individual pieces here and say public level data and then we'll name it level data. And that now resolves this because now there is a location that it can actually reference this. Now the issue is that right now because we're doing this manually this could actually be null and if that's the case then we don't want um, to start trying to do this because we're going to start throwing errors trying to get information that isn't there. So I am going to throw in a quick, at least for now, we're going to throw in a quick if level data equals null return. And so we can just, we'll, if, if there is no level data for us to reference, we'll just jump out of this um, method and not continue because there's no point in doing so because we don't have any information to get. With that, we are actually all set here. We no longer need um, this old level manager class open. There's nothing else in here that would be, we would be pulling. So we can close that up. And here in our level manager, we should be all set. So now the only thing we actually need to do is actually create some level data. So we're gonna create in the root of our assets folder, we're gonna create a new folder, and we're gonna call this level data. Open that up, and we're gonna create a new level data file. We'll call this level zero for now, and we'll keep this one really simple, actually. What we're just gonna do is we're gonna put the player at position negative four on the X. We're gonna put the goal at four on the X. And we're not even gonna put in any obstacles. So this is really just you have a player on the left, a goal on the right, no obstacles, a really simple level just to get the player used to the fact that they can move around the level. We can go to our level scene and go to our level, because remember that's where this level manager is now. We can oops, go back to the level. We can drag that level zero onto our level data. And so now, again, instead of pulling from those individual pieces of data, we're pulling from that data file that we've created. We can hit play. And what we should see now is that we sure enough have our very, very simple, kind of almost a tutorial type level where it's just moving us from left to right, go to the goal, and we're all set. So with that done, we can now actually get into the next feature of our game, which is having multiple levels and managing which level we're on, if we're going to a new level, if we're repeating a level, and eventually even having the player be able to pick what level they want to do in their game. So sorry that this was kind of a housekeeping thing. Um, like As I say, I will definitely put all these files up onto um, in a link down in the description so that you can access them. And until next time, thanks for watching and good luck with your game dev.